uh, if you believe you're next, you must be next. <laughs> so, tell us what you're here for. Um, well, I noticed the last few days I've, I've had kind of a stinging pain. Stinging pain? Okay, yeah. only right? Just the right, yeah. And that's the heel? Yes. It's not the fascia. I mean, it's not the, the, the arch. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, middle of the heel. Okay. Yeah. Do you sleep well? If it's an onisamia point, I want to know if he sleeps mm. well. You know, it's like it yeah. always always works both ways, or can work both ways. I I sleep not necessarily. I'll sleep eight hours, but not necessarily feel to par in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else? Anything else? Just the No, I have a like, chronic lower back. Chronic lower back. Yeah, it, it, I think it might stem from a, an injury um, when I was younger. Uh, what um, was the injury? Um, I fell about a story off of the, out of the window. What did you fall? on my feet. Oh, sorry. And okay. then kind of right yeah, there, yeah. and it compressed. It wasn't immediate. There wasn't some immediate pain associated uh -huh. with it, but that's the only thing I can really think of that that might have hurt back. I was like, I was about thirteen at the time. Anything else? Um, I have a adrenal um, exhaust. Like I have like depletion. I have a motorcycle exhaust. No. Yeah, uh, what do you mean? Okay. How how do you? Okay. That that's a nice term. What, what, uh, tell me the symptoms. Um. I'll do the diagnosis. Thank you very much. So. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no. Uh, it's uh, um, uh. Patients will do that. They'll come and they'll tell you nice terms, especially if they went to one of the five element practitioners, mm -hmm. and then they have the most incredible diagnoses and. Mean anything to me? I don't know what they mean. So it's a, his adrenal exhaustion may not be what I define as adrenal exhaustion. So it's important when I say adrenals, it doesn't mean Western doctors say adrenal. It just means that it, I can use kidney and kidney twenty-seven. That's all it means to me. It doesn't mean it's some yeah. true. You know, so I'm just curious as to what that means to you. Yeah, that was from uh, the uh, Western herbalists. Okay, no, no, yeah, that's yeah. Okay. So um, it I get um, licorice and Romania. Yes. <laughs> um, I get like a, a night night ish like night vision issues. Um, I get um, I am pretty tired a lot of the time. Um, tendency to anxiety. Um, some de not depression in the chronic sense, but I'll get bouts of depression. Um, let me think what else. Uh, I get like a, um, I get dizzy pretty easily. I get like a. Um, the, uh, or not necessarily busy, but I feel like I'm in like comic books or something like that. Or like a, like, a, like, a, um, like if you looked in a, in a digital camera and you moved it really quickly, you get that. Oh, I see. Away. Yeah, it, it blurs. Yeah, things a, blur. A little bit. Okay. And, uh, memory, short-term memory things. I'm a student, so it's sometimes it's really hard for me to remember things. It's <laughs> annoying. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let, let me go through those symptoms a little bit again, just to make sure I got them all. Fatigue, yeah. um, memory, vision, there's a blurriness. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what's, it, there was something else you said. Um, lower back. Hmm? Lower back. No, no, yeah, but no, dizziness. when he was talking about uh, dizziness, uh, okay, yes, yeah, yeah, the, the, the depression. Did, he, did, he, did you say anxiety or depression? Both. Both, okay, thank you. All right, would you mind shirt off and socks off? Thank you. So, but the main thing is the heel. Right, right for now. At the very moment, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're depressed as long as the heel's better. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's, it, it started two years ago and it's getting a little better already. Okay. And then I guess second. That's the right. And then low back. Where is the low back? Um, you can probably feel it. There's like a little like, like a um, ball. Like a so it's on the right side. side. Yes, I, I see what you're saying. I love to. Oh, okay. So they're painful, these notches. Not necessarily, but it's there's this tension on my lower back. Okay. Describe the low back issue for me without, you know, I, you've already said low back pain. Yeah. Is, is it pulling? Is it sharp? Is it going around? Is it going up? Is it's it... more of a dull. It's a kind of a dull pain. Does it have a heaviness to it? Yes. I mean, if, uh, I mean, if I'm sitting like cross-legged, it's, it's kind of hard for me to like stay upright. Because my body wants, it kind, of, it kind of feels like it's weak, so it's kind of like wants to go down. If I go up, like if I press up, like 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 a uh, my straight my straight back, it starts hurting. Like a dull, kind of dull way, like a really okay. dull. Way. Show me where it hurts. Like here, here. Okay, and how about width-wise? Right here. Okay, thank you. 
Um, okay, you sweat easily. I just like Ah, okay. Yeah. First night for 30 minutes. Face up. Right heel, right? Yes. Anything? Uh, Tell me where it is. It's a little on um, my uh, lateral side. And up a little bit. Up? What like is towards, the, towards the toes. A little bit. No. It's like. How did you say it? It's like. If you say right around there, it means I didn't get it. Yeah, it's it's hard to determine. It's kind of like a... That, yeah, that's closer. I'm, I'm producing something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can I have tape? So, uh, let's go off that. Please. Thank you. Okay, so just to be sure, I'm pressing and there's something. Yeah. Okay, fabulous. Okay. So, pause. Okay, you load it. I'll be clear what the parts is. Do you see the flutter in the abdomen? Why did you take the ring out? There's got to be something weird um, happening. Okay. When I poke here, you don't care. No. One good thing about needles are not a problem, I'm assuming, right? Okay. Professional piercing family. Yeah, you, I'm also an acupuncturist. Can, hmm? Sorry? I'm also an acupuncturist. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know, I know. But you can say I'm second generation. Yeah, second generation. Family there you tradition. Go. <laughs> so, hi. Anything here? That's a little bit. Here you feel nothing, but here you feel something. Okay. How about this side? Yeah, it feels like that. More so. Uh, Very left. Mm -hmm. Boom. Boom. Oh, right, right. Right, right. Okay. How about here? Not so bad. Okay. And here? Worse. We're, okay. okay. Not so bad, but something and worse. Yes. Okay. So yes, it can. Okay. If not just right there. And then establish. Anything here? Uh, I have a hernia right there, other than that. Mm. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. But when I press, do you feel weird? Not right now. No. But do you feel weird when I press in 12? Hernia usually is more, more, more like 13. Right? I feel Thank something. You. you feel something. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything over 17? Not too much. Not too much. Okay, good. So, Ren 9. A little bit on 13, it must be coming out. Adrenal left, adrenal right. Lung for digestion and stagnant blood. Is that correct, Dr. Nuts? Okay. Anything, excuse me, in inguinal or right side? More on the left. More on the left. Okay. But not significant. Not significant. Anything more to know? Up here is something. Really? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Yeah. Not, not really there. Here a little bit. A little bit. Because it, it feels quite soft. Okay. Good. 
Would you notice how he's very turned out? Yes, 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 he is. Um, yeah, and yet he doesn't show any tightness in the inner thigh or inguinal, so he may show tight the, the main the cause of his low back pain. Mm -hmm. He may have sacroiliac um, tightness. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, he's, yeah. he might be holding his buttocks. So, anything here? Okay, but your back pain is more yes. this. It, when I'm pressing it, it feels yes. uncomfortable? Yeah, it does. It, okay. uh, it almost feels like it's shooting down. It feels like shooting down feeling, okay. Any discomfort in the kidney too? Uh, do you? No. No. Okay, fine, fine. What? No, wait, your thumb, wait, your thumb was like the top. Oh, yeah, the top, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Those are stabilized myself. Okay, let's try to give me six. How's the back? Feels better. How much better should it be? Not really shooting right now. Okay, great. Okay, next. Do you remember you had you had a dream on the left? I think it's better. You think it's better? Okay. Let's not think. Yeah. Let's make sure. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. You have on this side with these because that was more yeah. at to begin with, so it's more obvious. And don't turn out. You. Don't turn out your phone. I, I like to it. Okay. I do it different so, ways as I'm doing it right now. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll explain to you why. There's a reason. I, I'm not just being pushy. <laughs> okay. How's the navel now? It's a little better. I still feel a little uncomfortable, but... A little, okay. By percentage, how much better? 25% better. Okay. Fine. And now? Worse. Worse. Okay. Fine. So it is going to be Okay. The reason why is because what you're doing is you're going to talk about turning. If you what happens is it's a lot easier to bend over when you when you're turning out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The problem is your ten, the tensor fascia lata is going to, is contracting. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Okay. After. Okay. <laughs> Stick my nose in everything. <laughs> He said kidney sound is worse for the adrenal, but I'm still curious. Compare with kidney seven. Because officially for bone it should be kidney seven, right? Boom, boom, boom. It's, it's a little worse, but a it's still worse. pretty good. Okay, but that's okay, so kidney six is better. Okay. I think so. Next. Kidney six. Better, right? Okay. With sixty-two. Boom. Um, it's kind of hard because you're it's kind of pinching on both sides pretty hard, so Okay, let me release a little bit. Yeah. It's hard because I'm hot up in the Yeah. How is now? It's it's better. How much is left? Um a little bit, not too, like probably like another fifty percent. Hmm? So it's like twenty it's like it's seventy five. Yeah, 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 okay. Math I can do. Yeah. <laughs> so. So you, give me the right ingredients and I'll do the math myself. No problem. Okay, so kidney 627 for adrenal. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one I'll do kidney 6 plus UB62 and let's see where, where, where we're left. Okay? So, so again, yes, he has a okay, so I don't necessarily have to start there. I could if I want to. And I, you know, I may decide that I will. about a slippery pulse and tonifying the, the adrenals? Like if you have a slippery, if someone has a slippery pulse, do you, do you still do an adrenal 
tonification yeah, treatment? I never heard any counter. I never heard that. Oh, it's quite a it's quite a strong thing with TAC. You never you'll never tonify it because it's just literally false. He'll do Shao Yin, but he won't do like an adrenal treatment. Um, okay. Yeah, sensitive. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. Just like you. I never heard that from Kiko. Um, I, you know, everybody comes up with their own uh, stuff around things. I mean, no, because you know, yeah, yeah. you studied yeah. from someone and you learned it. I think it's from Nagano. I think yeah. that's where you. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know, and because Kiko is not a pulse person, um, I, you would never hear it from her. Even if, you know, um, the other thing is, my understanding of, of the style is: oh, doesn't matter. You're basically tonifying, even if there's an excess, you're tonifying so that to undo the excess. So no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. um, it okay. hasn't occurred to me. Uh, and also, I don't know how Nagano defined the slippery balls. Mm -hmm. So that would be another a whole other problem that I would have. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, now I have this concept. Now, what the hell did he mean? The, the other thing is, I mean, what I would ask Tak is, um, does that come from Nagano's book? Mm, he studied directly with Nagano, so... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, but, it, you know, because the thing is, Nagano wrote a book and nobody mm -hmm. understands the book. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that I understand any better, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, but I'm just saying it, it's hard to know, you know, I can't make that statement my own. I think I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, slippery pulse means there's excess in the body, so you don't want to tonify. And no, by tonify... Specifically because it's water. Yeah. So it's more he doesn't do me and before he tries to address spleen or you know to get the dampness, he doesn't call it dampness, but basically he tries to resolve the dampness before he will do anything on the kidneys. What would he do? Okay, if it was slippery pulse but not not edema, what would he do? Spleen nine. Spleen four, lung five, typically kidney metal water. Like he'll do kidney metal water, but he well, won't do twenty seven. Okay. The only time that I know Nagano said don't do kidney twenty seven. Okay, let me think, see if I can if I can reproduce this. Parasympathetic or sympathetic? Okay. This is a parathyroid point. And kidney. I believe that kidney twenty seven makes the. He said that kidney twenty seven makes the body more sympathetic. That's my belief. It may be the opposite. I didn't I don't pay enough attention to sometimes to the details. So the only time that you shouldn't do kidney twenty seven according to that logic is if well, since I can't tell you which one it is, is if the body was if you could tell for sure. And the problem is I don't really know what Nagano meant but you know, it's like even yeah, though yeah we know sympathetic is rapid and yeah. so Honestly, I mean, the, the, the easiest answer to what you ju just asked is, I have no clue. Fair <laughs> Sorry. enough. Yeah, I would, no, no, like, no, I would that's, love that's... to be able to research this more and, and be able to tell you something, but I don't, don't, doesn't mean much to me. So, I'm sorry, I'm just going to, no, don't do it yourself. It's okay. I'm going to take you away. Side point was that bladder? 62. 62. 60, 60, kidney 6 goes towards the kidneys and 62 goes this way because mm. you'll be 63, 64 mm. in that direction. Mm. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing. I, I can get to the direction this way, but to do mm. it this way was very hard because I, I needed space for the needle. Mm -hmm. so, and yes, if I can. Thank you. 
I'm assuming this is a iron pumping cord. It's not my next one. Black goes on kidney six. Remember I told you like for sacrum pain, kidney six gets the black and UB62 gets the red. So you use this for ankle, heel, sacrum? Uh, no, I don't normally use it for heel, uh -huh. but since they both worked, mm. and I'm already at <coughs> his he doesn't exactly have sacrum, he may have sacrum. Yeah. Since kidney six did a good job, and since I'm already on the combination, might as well add that I am mm. having course. So now that this is there, let's just see if that's improved. Where are we at? I, I'm really sorry not to feel anything. Great. So, so some, yeah. e either the needles were getting to work better or the pumping cords. I don't know. Which is pretty yeah. so, um, it's a little unfortunate. Okay. So, how is this guy now? And this guy? Still feeling. Still Okay, fine. Yeah. And how's it going now? Sorry. Okay, gotcha. And then you have 13. A little bit, not too bad. Because now that we got rid of the heel, now, uh, you know, it's uh, I'm still, you know, I didn't do anything except add GB62 to his constitutional treatment. It's not like I, you know, it's not like I treated the symptom only. But now that he's, you know, he's like happy, he, he can now pay, you know, without feeling, you know, oh, bummer, I went to a stupid practitioner, right? I came for the heel. Now I can treat, you know, the anxiety, the depression, you know, it's like now we can move on. Okay. So this one's very important for, you know, the, um, for the emotional stuff. Okay? That's why I'm, I'm interested in that. So, so, oh, um, okay. I could just go for, with 24 and, and, by the way, anything here? Ah! Okay, so yeah, so we don't have a choice. You know, I could, next thing I could do, wait, you said here also, right? Yeah, not so bad. That's fine. How about this side or this side? Right side, the right side. The right side, okay. How about now? Maybe worse. Worse, okay. Now, does Tuck care about screen 3, screen 4 in terms of policy? Uh, yes. yeah. Yeah. Because Kiko no longer does. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of pretty, but then you ask, she goes, huh? <laughs> More for the heart, though, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah. Kind of, it's, it's a funny situation. You know, some years you... you know. mm. um, no, the other thing is, if Tuck has better ability with pulse than Kiko, then mm -hmm. he cares about what not going to set up. He <coughs> mm -hmm. basically has to sort of ignore it, because she's kind of, she claims not, not to be able to do it. Yeah. So it's like, well, then what is she going to do with it? Yeah. You sure. know, it's like interesting information and <laughs> mm. <laughs> so what do you want me to do? Okay. So here, right? How's that? A bit. I love percentages. Yeah. Okay. It's about twenty. Twenty percent. No, no, stomach 24. OD will be higher, OD will be here. This is the same level as the red 9, but on the stomach chain. Hi. I don't care. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know you care, but I yeah. don't. It's better. Yeah, it's not like about 25. About 25, okay. Any heart disease in your family? My dad has like What kind? Um, I can't really call it. He's had two heart attacks. Um, and it's uh, related to his diabetes. Okay. So what were you pressing for? Okay, so now let's go about the pulse with the spleen 3, spleen 4. He's not a spleen 3 pulse and he's not exactly a spleen 4. If, if anything, I would have thought he's got a slightly bigger pulse, but it's not wide enough. Have to qualify for, you know, big enough for spleen four. See, that's my when spleen form starts making things bad. Spleen four is supposed to be for big pulse, not for small pulse. And spleen three is for small pulse, never for big pulse. Supposedly, 
never. But then I caught Kiko. Like, I, caught, I caught Kiko. You know. But you know, she started doing this combination of spleen for peritoneal six for, for stomach 21. And I said, wait a second, what about the pulse? You didn't check the pulse. I thought it was so important, blah, blah, blah. And she said, ah. So, so you know, all these things you know, we all do. You know. Okay. But because he does, there is some cardiac. No. And you're saying, wait, didn't I put a new here? I didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. What point is that? This is uh, storm 24, when I'm pulsing, plus GB26. Okay. And it's playing 20 now, it's altogether how much better? It's like an over generalized, generally about 25% better. Only 25% better, okay, fine. I'm, I'm assuming spleen 4 will make it worse. No difference. No difference, at least. Okay, let's try spring through. Cool. No. Okay. I'll figure something out. Like yeah. for PC6 for 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 stomach 21. Okay, if you yeah. read Kiko's uh, eight extra channel thing, uh -huh. it's this eto knee diagnosis business. Oh, okay. Okay, and it also comes with a stomach 21. Mm. Um, so recently she's revived that, mm. you know. But then the problem, so you see, the thing is, things are, there's always historical components to things. When that original combination came out, you know, which was before my time anyway, split for P6, nobody, you know, there was, Nagano didn't exist in Kiko's mind yet. Okay, she, she may have known about it, but she, you know. This was an Ito thing, and I don't think Ito cared. I don't know. I don't didn't know him. Don't know anything about him. But I don't think he cared about the pulse. Nagano has this thing about spleen for pulse. So now, now that she sort of like something got revived from this other period, this you know, then you, mm -hmm. you, you can't, combining styles is a little difficult. Yeah. You know. So, yeah. all right. So still something here. Yeah, I'm thinking of Any Yeah, you don't want this. Okay, so basically, I wouldn't say you have adrenal deficiency, I would say you have a weak down How's this? 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 Five percent, you might as well say no change. You still mushu? Mushu. I just changed a little bit. Yeah. Now this is mushu with garlic. <laughs> Chives, whatever you want. I'm not sure which spleen I do, so it gets too complicated. It's like it's safe. It's not it's a no-named point. You know, it's, it's not an element point, it doesn't fight with anybody, it's like it's it, and at the same time it's an important point. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's it's easy. But no, the other thing is it's meeting of the three in REN4, REN6 area is also meeting of three years. So there's a possible correlation. Hello. Now I don't feel anything. Yeah, fabulous. <laughs> Six. Because
because, okay, one of the things uh, which I didn't share with you yet about what, when he showed me in the back, he has these like little nodules. I told you if you have, I have, if you have little nodules, they can, you can call them fat nodules, but you know, that's often a spleen type person. These really weird sort of nodule feelings. Some people have them on the abdomen. You know, he does it. But, uh, his on the back, you would probably say that's like fatty, um, fatty cysts. Are you something. talking about the, like the larger ones? Sorry? Like, like, like larger ones? They're, they're not, not quite. Not the, when they're larger, I would totally tell you that they're that, that they're 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 fatty tissue. Mm -hmm. But when they're tiny, I think it's a sweet type. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm not the best in the world. I'm aware. So, spleen, hold on, spleen for me is good? How's it going for? Still some? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any pain here? No. How's it going? Okay. Where's this? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you don't say something, not nice. Why <laughs> <laughs> do you deal with 10%? So. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Okay. How are you going to do this? Better. Yeah, uh, clearly better. Yeah, like 35%. Perfect. Okay, compare with boom. The same. Okay. So one side pericardium doesn't do anything. Can you just repeat what you just did there? Uh, pericardium 4. I check pericardium A to see if it's painful, then I have a choice. I can do either 6 or, 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 or 4, depending on your when you studied with Kiko. And then, um, and I checked it against REN4, the weak dantian. Does it have any real connection? No. But if it's good for, for him, you know, because I haven't quite fixed his... Sorry, Abby, I was, uh, I lost the contact, but I'm listening. No, So, we were trying to, we were attempting to clear REN4 some more because it had been changed, and then how did you think of PC? Because I'm already, a, I'm on a spleen, a good friend of, the, okay. He has like anxiety, depression, yak, 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 therefore possibly pericardial time, even though I didn't find say when 17 or something. So okay. So again, you know, I'm transferring the reflexes and I'm I know you see the, the problem is I know what the official line is. But when the person, I mean, he doesn't know what the official line is, he can come with what he's supposed to, you know, the, the, his body's not saying the same things. So I'm starting, I have an idea, if he had, if I was working according to the dogma, and it was grand 17 or whatever, he, pericardium would have been a good thing for him. Explaining pericardium should be a good thing for him, okay? Now I'm finding REN4. I did what I could for the REN4 up to now, because I already have kidney, okay? I already have the stomach 24 and um, GD 26, and he's still not so happy, right? It's better. It's better. How much better? Uh, 35 to 40% better. 35 to 40 overall. Okay. Go, go, go. Now. That's better. How much? Up to 50%. My arm hurts a lot. I'm sorry, that, don't ignore the arm. How is the red form? Better. So it's possible that in his case, REN4 is almost like an emotional reflex. You know, because if I release the nerve, if I release the neck and the nervous system, the REN4 gets better. So, you know, it, it's um, it's not quite <coughs> the way I work with a star is just not as linear. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, it's okay. Can you tell me how though? Yeah, it's better. It's gonna be 
Much better. How many percentage do we have left? Um, at 20. Oh, fine. At 20%, I'm willing to let go if I have. If I can get it better, I will. And probably the whole thing do this. Just, uh, can you comment just on the angle? Why that particular the angle? angle of both immune and triple warmer aid out towards me. Any reason, way. or just that's just the way it is? That's what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just kind of like, I don't know. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Neither one of them is officially on a channel yeah. or on a, you know, it's like immune point is not on a channel, so you don't need to go with any particular channel. I think in you specifically, you're trying to go towards the bone anyway. It's, it's that tissue, it's the way the tissue adhere, adheres to the bone is the main thing there. And triple warmer aid, I'm really not so sure why. I know that there was a period where people would, if it did this, didn't work, she would go to, rather than going up and down, she would go towards the small intestine channel. So it might be that there's something closer to the small intestine channel that's, um, that's really the deal. I, I, I'm not sure. Oh, by the way, um, besides depression, you said dizzy. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Are you dizzy right now, or do you think? No. no. Okay. Any headaches or anything? Did you have a concussion? I mean, no, I've only had one concussion, and that was like, like 14 years old. Oh, just one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? It's a little bit worse than it was. I just want to lose my or something. And I don't know, but, but it's better. Okay. So, on the other side, since he did have a concussion, we have to do econ. Okay. Uh, also, don't forget the back is from a compression, which may have like, also compressed here. So, let's just check the options here. Anything? Here. About here. Whoa, okay. Okay, so this one here. So what are you finding? Um, I would say it's, okay, look up. No, oh, okay. Look up. Oh, more, more, more. Okay, thank you. Okay, C4. Okay, right. And just to be clear, it's just the Huato C4. Uh, no, I'm actually on the spine. So now you're on the in, spine. In his case, just because of you, spine. because of the. Just because that's where I found what I found. I started, and that's what I found. Okay. Okay. So. Abby, when you were speaking to him when he first came in, because I, I, I saw I've seen this in Jonathan before, he looks a little bit like. Yes, he definitely looked like. Yeah, it was hard. To, well, okay. It was a little hard to I wasn't sure if it was the clothes are not hanging right or if the rib cage is not hanging right. <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, and then he says, oh, I'm bicycling. So I, I think I'm kind of not paying too much attention to it. <coughs> so, but yes, he definitely, yeah, he definitely had, like, you know, it, it definitely looked like a whole rib cage was, was displaced. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and the abdomen was, was kind of crooked. So, so. <laughs> but yeah, did anybody else tell you that before? Because when he's lying down, he's like totally straight. Yeah. So I'm I'm not sure. I've had some injury on on the right side here. You can see like a scar tissue over there. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh. Uh just impacts. Okay. Right. Of what? I don't know why it looks um, like. Um it was like like a rock. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Eight, four. Okay. That's why you want the medical history up front as opposed to them telling you while you're at it. So next class we'll have everybody fill out a form so we know. No, 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 it's, it's just, um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Okay. Um, four and seven, right? Seven is worse. Seven is worse. Sorry. House seven. Better. Yeah. And house four. Better. Go about 26. See, the problem with, with all that is that then you start chasing things. Mm -hmm. So there's no clarity in the treatment. It's, it's just not a good way to treat. So, and unfortunately, you know, because we didn't like, get everybody to tell us the medical, we, you know, to really sort of delineate things, 
all the cases, you know, throughout the two days have been a little bit kind of like um, not, not so. There, there was no, there was a little lack of clarity. Mm. So, yeah. but anyway, um, talking about the head before, and I was going to do something else. And I can't remember what it was. The combination. Sorry. On the rear side for the. Yeah, econ. We were going to do econ. Yes. How's Renfort. Now, why am I thinking that he has a head injury or concussion? Because if Renfort is refusing to get better, this is the... Okay. Um, it's... I think it's like this. Guan um, Yuan. This is the Guan. Oh, sorry, this is the Yuan. And uh, the gate has some crap here. I, I can't do all the characters. No, no, it's, it's, it's too, too many strokes. I, I can't possibly remember how many there are. You can take that off the table. <laughs> so, this yuan, this yuan is something on top of a person. What's on top of a person is the head. Okay, so this character, no, it's not toe, like, like toe way, you know, but it's similar. It's, it's the head, because this, this thing here is like two legs. Okay, so this is a person with something on top of them. So it's the head. Okay. So this yuan means the head. So guan yuan, guan four, relates to the. It's the gateway. The guan is the passageway. Okay, to the head. Okay. So he has a stubborn. It doesn't really get better easily. Guan yuan, the gateway to the head, doesn't get better. So that's why I think. Well, I want to find out if he's got something in the head. Okay, like what's the history here? And oh wow, well, by the way, yes, I do have a concussion. Okay. So do you see this? Mm -hmm. Very loose. Not a good. What does that yeah. mean? Not good loose. Do you see me moving? No, but I never knew that. So what is it? Why well, I have concern you didn't know. Looseness in, in the scalp there means you know this is easily depressed type. Um, like, okay, originally we start saying post postpartum depression. You cut the Guan Yuan area, okay, the Renfro area, and the depression shows here. He's clear, I mean, this, this is not a good head. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Does, does it feel gelatinous? Or? I have so good psoriasis too, so. Oh, by the way, I have a little psoriasis. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to tell us what else you have, by the way? Uh, what I tend to think of. <laughs> um. Okay, psoriasis may be autoimmune, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not an announcement, maybe autoimmune. May, may, may come to autoimmune. Okay, so it's really interesting how people come in. I've never felt that before. Yeah, it's a little unusual. Do you say blood stagnation? We call blood stagnation. I mean, originally started by blood stagnation, yeah. there, but is it really blood? I mean, yeah. it's not like this real blood stagnation is yeah. still there. And yeah, so something very interesting with you. So thankfully, in the order of the six, we just had this play out in the long five. Hey, what the hell? So the combination of stagnant blood in the head, you, often they'll have pain on do 20 or heat on do 20. The loose is the worst type. Doesn't get better as easily. Okay, you definitely don't want loose. You don't want heat either. But heat, you know, they're, they're really, you know, because how can you tighten this, you know? So heat you can get rid of. You know, pain you can get rid of. But um, looseness, it's like to, to, to firm this up, I mean, that's, that's a job. <laughs> so, so, sorry, that's a form of stab, not stagnation. We call blood stagnation in the head, but can I say it's truly blood stagnation? I, I think it was an, I think, I don't know for sure, I think it was an expression, meaning the blood is stagnant in the head, therefore you get depressed. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure there was a physical, uh, just not say anything different, I mean, I don't, it's, an, I, it's just an expression, I don't know that it actually is. Okay. Um, okay. So, now, we know it's loose, I don't think I can say is it, is it more firm, I think, because he doesn't even know that it's okay. But is there any pain anywhere? Um, I mean, apex is more, yeah, apex? It's more pain. But apex in here? Or like the 220. Like 220 area? Here, yeah. where I press. Okay. Because I already have most of the treatment for starting on the head, so I'm just adding how's now. It is better. About how much? 
I like the very brief. Okay. What is it? Spleen 9. Cause, okay, the protocol for stemming blood in the head is spleen 6, I already have. Spleen 9, pericardium, and lung 5. So all I have to do is add spleen 9. And lung 5 and hope for the best. I won't even ask what the scar is here for. <laughs> you just like to live dangerously. <laughs> of course you have renal deficiency. Yeah. No, no, I'm serious. How much better are we at this point? It may actually be a little bit worse. That's better. Back to where it was before. Meaning the 30% uh, or something. No, not five. Okay. It's the angle of kind of weird. How are we doing? It's still there. It's like, How much is left? About 50, 60 percent left. Okay. And we started with C4 here, right? No. This one. No? Go on. It's, I feel tightness, not so much pain. Okay, but before you were kind yeah. of... Okay. So, one, three, four. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. How's it for? It's better. It's still there. How? Uh, About twenty five percent there. Okay. Right. So that so that does not seem to have improved after having done standing blood in the head. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you turn your head side to side, is there any pain or discomfort? You're turning more easily towards me, it looks like. Yeah. It hurts for her smart doing this. It does hurt. Okay. Something here? Even a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, sorry. How is now? Better. The neck. Okay. I mean, your hand really hurts, but it's. <laughs> this time, probably. Yeah. Hurts. How is it going to feel? Better. Lots better? Yeah. Yeah. Stomach line is good for C4, and I do it on a side that's harder to turn your head to. Okay, so now, you know, remember the posture thing? Now we have to think, well, is it a, you know, is it the, the spoon is shifted? You know, so that now we have more options, you know, conceivably. If somebody, if somebody leaves my clinic and they said 50% better, that sucks. Okay? 75 and above, it's acceptable. So I prefer 90, I prefer 100. Okay? But, you know, but it's kind of not very nice if somebody says 30% better. I'm like, oh, God. You know, so it's, I want to sort of thing. So, um, turning your head, just so you see. Still a bit more difficult to go to the right. Less pain, so no pain but tension or less pain? Less pain. Go ahead. Okay. Not so much pain but tension. Which one does a better job? This one 
want this. Okay. There we go. Okay. Number one. Okay. What are you pressing of it? Ah, uh, center four. Sanja 4 over Yam Tong Shui. Sanja 4 is the source, right? The source of the source of the source, right? Because Dan Zhao. Okay, so it's the source of the whole damn thing. Okay? So if I'm gonna if I'm looking at the head and the source, even though it's a different kind of source, the, the character itself is different, it still has I, you know, I still prefer this to, to Yam Tong Shui. Hole, like in the clear hole. I do it in the center. I don't do it to the side. Right. So where yeah, the it's a, it's between the two tendons. Yeah. Okay. How's your head? It's it's better. Okay. How's one four? It's still stubborn. It's very tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> and how's the twenty? It's better for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. 80, 80, 80, 85%, 80, 80, 85%. All right, we won't fire you. <laughs> All right, any questions? Yes. So, I think I missed that. What do you do with the IP cores on the foot? KB6 and UB62. And that's for? It's for both his back and for his heel. His heel got better with KB6, but it got even better when I added UB62. So then, remember I told you this combination for sacrum. And the kidney six is the one, and I'm gonna check if that's real. Don't, don't help, don't help, don't help, don't help, don't help. Okay. Just, okay, here. Sorry. That's why I was shooting, I still feel pain now. You still feel pain? Yeah. Okay, um, how much? We'll have to do it from the back, but I'm just curious at this point. No, no one else on the front. Yeah. Um, about fifty percent better than initially. I'm so sorry about the rate. The rate four. Sorry. So. Forget. I'm talking about the back now. Oh, you just. Did. I don't. I, I said sorry about rate four, meaning I don't give it back. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but I really don't care. Where <laughs> are you in the back? No, I was the back. Hmm? Where are you in the back? On the spine directly. L4 or L5, I'm not sure quite yet because I'm. You know. That's it's actually maybe even worse. Maybe even worse. Okay, thank you. Seems like there was a scarf in the back. Here, okay, so. The back. Worse. No, 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 no. shaking of the abdomen, they will, um, that, that to me is the most difficult style, you know, the ones, because what will happen is you press on the point, and you think you've got it, now we're going to check the heel in a second, and we'll find out what's really going on, you think you've got it, and then you put the needles in, and then they go, oh no, it's not good, and they say, no, it's only 20, they don't really give you 80%, and now suddenly it's a 20%, that's the time, you know, this kind of, you know, the, the, the fluttering of the abdomen, that's just the nature of that kind of person. You know, it's, they're not doing it to annoy me. You know, it's not just like, I really think they're doing it just to annoy me. <laughs> but they really aren't. It's just, it, it's the way the body responds. That's why that type of person, I told you, anything that fluctuates, not good. Keep fluctuating, keep fluctuating. You're getting the body in this sort of like, like this. His abdomen is already like this. This is not good. Tight, fine. Overly loose, fine. You know, like, get it one way or the other if possible. 
don't keep yo-yoing. The yo-yoing is not good because then the body will adjust, will not be able to adjust anywhere. And it will always stay like this. That's why it's not good to work with, you know, don't encourage people. Some people think it's okay to come for a few treatments, get it better a little bit, and then, oh, don't worry, I'll have three months of, you know, I'll screw up my body and I'll come back to the acupuncturist and get it better again. You can only do it X amount of times. They do it for too many years, they'll end up with a much more major situation. They'll end up they'll end up with a very weakness, in my understanding. Would you do um, moxa at D20? Never? Well, first of all, do 20 moxa? That's a little bit difficult. What am I going to do? Cut his hair off? Oh, that does it. <laughs> well, good for Tad. Does he have a license for him, for Barbara? He's having two D20. Okay, that's cute. He warned the patient that they might lose a few hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, how hair you might you lose a little hair. Excuse me, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, okay. Certainly, it's the Japanese can do. I do, I could, I'll do a manicure, but I don't do haircuts. <laughs> you know, everyone's got a different idea of what, what's, um, what, what, where they're willing to go. Like even in our TCM training, we were trained to do box out, but you would do. Well, you can do the cigar. Or I wouldn't do it. Um, yeah, I know they like to do mox under 24 prolapse or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, just not, so not my thing. I, I, I don't know. I, I, it just never occurred to me to try and do mox under 20, even though, you know, maybe it's good. The other thing is that's where his symptom is. So I don't really miss. Oh, what, what, that's where one of the symptoms are. But hold on. Better to check the heel. He ultimately came for the heel, right? Hi. It's better. It's, it's, it's where it was before. Well, before you said you you we, we came to 100 percent, I believe. Yeah. Are we still at 100 percent? Yeah. Yeah. Between 90 and 100. Okay. Fine. fine. It, it's hard to be quite honest. Yeah. Yeah. I have to stand up and stand on yeah. it to like really yeah, get. Yeah. I understand. We, we will give you a chance to do that. Yes. Uh, do you have any patients who's coming for you? Coming to see you for years or for, for quite a few months or whatever. Yeah. Some people have weird symptoms that you can't get rid of, and you know, so they don't come every week necessarily. But yeah. Are you, are you worried that by taking them over and over and trying to deal with their symptoms for six months, five months, ten months, that you wear the system down? Are you worried about it? No, because if they're coming, if there is a consistency and a consistent improvement, you're okay. If you get an improvement and then you're stopping treatment, and then it comes back, and then they come back, you know, a few weeks or a few months later, same symptoms, same severity, you take off some but not all, and they go away. That's when I'm worried that it will get into a pattern of you know, shutting, you know, the pattern will shut down. And if they come every week with the same symptom? Then it's getting away and then... It's then they need to go away. away. They need to go somewhere else. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. If they come with the same symptoms every week and it doesn't get better, then it's I don't know... It's getting for a week or for whatever, but it's kind of... But it comes back, yeah. So, you have the option of trying to get them to, I mean, well, depending on what the symptom is. I mean, the people who come for long term are usually the autoimmune types, the cancer types. You know, it's, it's not your run-of-the-mill problem, okay? Or, you know, like I, I come for hypothyroidism or something, so it, we know it's going to take a, a while. It, it's not like a four, five, six week, ten week treatment. Okay, so that, you know. But yeah, I mean, someone who's, the ones who come for years, don't come every week. No one comes every week for years. You know, I'm, I'm uh, what should I say? As Kiko says, I'm not, I'm not that nice a person that they come to, just, they just come to see me. You know, it's <laughs> like, you know, I might be a little bit nicer, but I'm not that, that nice. You know, I don't offer them tea, I don't give them cookies, you know. It's like, so no, I don't have patients, I mean, I have patients I've seen for years, although now, because I, I used to live in San Francisco, now I live in New Hampshire. So I don't have like 20-year-old patients 
you know, I have patients in San Francisco, I had patients that I saw for 15 years on, off, off, you know, stuff like that. But for the same symptom exactly, if I could consistently see someone for years for the same symptom, say it's a shoulder pain or a back pain or something, I think it's a little bit irresponsible, you know, if they're really not getting better. Because they need to find someone, I mean, because otherwise I'm not giving them the motivation to go find something that's really going to work for them. If there is such a thing, I don't know. But I'm preventing them from discovering it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. For whatever it's worth, but uh, there are a lot of people that I've seen very regularly for two, two, three, four years. Uh -huh. um, and, you know, they're still coming because I've helped them with something, otherwise they right. would not back. But I'm trying to identify which time of the year they feel the worst. And, uh, and I try to, to, I try to have them a bit more often at that time of the year that's worse for them. Some people it's spring, some people it's fall, some people it's winter. Most people I space them for the summer because everybody tends to be a little better. So that's kind of how I approach yeah. long term patients. Yeah, no, and it's okay. I don't, well, okay, what, what does the long term patient have though? The, well, They will be complicated cases, so they come with like excruciating back pain and mm -hmm. we resolve it. But then at one point they'll have a tendonitis. Okay, that's totally, wait, 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 no, totally yeah. different, no, no. They're so coming they for different symptoms, the, no, no, yeah. they're coming for or something you know, else. Or yeah. and it's taken them years and nothing helped and then they're yeah. better, but there's still something weak in the neck. Yeah. I can't get 100%, so. Yeah. No, that's okay, but you got improvement. The thing, I'm, I, I'm saying if, you, if there's no improvement, some patients will latch on to you, okay, and they want to come, keep coming even though there's no improvement. Mm -hmm. That I don't think is a good thing, okay. I know that I know it's 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 a it's normal because it's human nature, but I don't think it's such a good thing mm -hmm. because yes, the patient sort of created some solidity around something. But it's preventing them for you know knowledge of new possibilities. Where is that going to come from? If they're do if you're doing the same thing, if you're not. If things are not changing, you need to change what you're doing. You know, so it's like you're not encouraging them to create to, to create a change. And one of that changes may be that they need to fire you. You know, they need to move on to somewhere else. It's not nice to say. It's not what you want to tell them. Please fire me for your own good. <laughs> you know? But sometimes it's really what you, you, you need to do because otherwise there's no motivation to change. You know, So they, maybe another acupuncturist will get it, maybe another modality altogether. People will only have a limited number of modalities that they will deal with. They're not going to go for five different things at the same time unless they're professional patients, which does happen. But. Okay, I ask you one more question. Yes. Uh, we are trying, or we're hoping, to solve the underlying mechanism, right? Of, of the whatever, underlying what? The underlying mechanism of Mecha whatever yes. reason for pain, right? Yes. And most of the underlying mechanism would be something deeper that provides the body to you know, flow or work as we wish it to. So, so the body would be able to take care of itself. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, if we do, touch the right mechanism or we do touch the core reason which will help the whole body to be better. Yes. To solve other problems in the body which are not related to the system right now, right? Yes. So how do we explain that somebody can for a specific pain, we hope we deal with the underlying mechanism and the we got to become a different thing. And the we got to become a different issue. And the we got to so what kind of treatment we give if some kind of pains or issues are repeating in different places. So the body obviously is not able to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, so basically it means you thought you got to the root of the problem and what you did is you didn't you either didn't get to the root of the problem, you didn't you didn't address it correctly. You know, the way or correctly meaning the way that, that particular body can accept it. So it means that the the problem is still there or there's another problem still there that you're not aware of it. Something else is yeah, so some people will shift symptoms from the ankle to the knee to the blah blah to the blah blah from side to side because there's, the weakness is still there whatever it is so you, the, the reality is you did not address the root problem the, the constitution that would be my my take on it that therefore maybe I thought it was adrenal but it's really something else 
you know, or maybe I need to add. Sometimes it's like, okay, yes, this is the root, but there is another root that I might as well. I just want you to step up and see how the heel is, and then I'll put you face down. Does, do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying? I understand what you're saying, but uh, you don't like it. <laughs> no, 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 I, I just think that we're, in all these studies, we're missing something deeper than that just technique and things and needles and connections. There's somewhere deeper in the human being to feel them. Than yeah, there's a lot. There's a certain, okay, so, okay, I, I, I understand what you're saying. You said, well, I think what you're saying is some people, it's not needles that are going to heal them, that they need, that they, they need some, some sort of support, other support mechanism that may be psychological, that may be, yes, okay. Then the, now it's your prerogative to say, Either, yes, I want to provide this kind of support for people, that is my job, or you may, as in Kiko, say, this is not my job, you need a psychotherapist, or you need a, you know, that, that, I'm not saying you're wrong, I'm just saying, and you're absolutely right, there's a certain amount of stuff that needles can only reach so far with everyone. Certain things needles may not be able, certain problems may not be solvable by needles. I absolutely agree with you. And you'll do, you'll do whatever you do with acupuncture and it will only go so far. And the person needs more. You know, and what, that more may not be you. And, and then it's your decision. Do I want to be everything for everyone? Which is an acceptable solution, okay, if that's what you choose. Or you can say, I'm not willing to be everything for everyone. This kind of problem I don't deal with. It's just like people say, I do back pain and I don't do gynecology. Or I do fertility only. They choose what they want to deal with. You know, now, if, if, is it true that fertility can come with back pain or back pain can come with fertility? Yeah. You know? So again, it's a choice of what you want to do. So I agree with you that acupuncture has its limits, absolutely. You know, where those limits are, I don't know. Depends <coughs> on the person. Um, I can't be everything for everyone. It's, it's, I, I have my own personal limits also, of what I, I'm capable of doing. So, yeah, there will be people that their symptoms will shift because ultimately what they, you know, possibly what they really need is a different mother. You know, I don't know. You know, it's like, and then I have to decide, do I want to, do I want to be that person's grandma? Do I want to be that person's mother? You know, and the answer might be yes. But if it is, you better really look at what you're doing. You know, because it's a very dangerous place to be. To be someone's grandma is not a good situation, in my personal opinion. Well, you don't always have to be their grandma. You might help them figure out that they need another one. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, well, what are you going to do? It's like, um, there's a market over there, and they sell, red, they sell some used red rice. <laughs> How's the heel? It seems to slightly move. It's more okay. like I'm here than in the inside now. Okay. Like and severity-wise? It's duller. Duller. Okay. Yeah. Face down. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Head Injury. <laughs> so it is more here? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. Okay, let's see if head injury will even have any effect on it. Since he's, he's a heel head person. Right? Heel head. Hi, how's heel? Okay. It's better. Um, How much? I, I don't really feel too much pain. Okay, cool. So, plot of 58? I always start. 58 is the strongest one. It, my test point is 58. Because 68 is very clear location, and 40 is, 40 is I'm not going to be able to test it usually against anything. Even under the occiput, you'll test with 58? Yeah, I know. That's supposed to be 60. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, do, do, do you get, do you still find it effective? Hmm. How's 220? 220 is not so bad. Not so bad, but some? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. When I do this, I'll do 20. Is it not even less so bad? Uh, about the same. Not the same. Okay, but it did a good job.
which are for the heel, I'm just going to confirm. So heel is here. And now? Um, now I, I feel the pain. Okay, maybe. And that's, I thought I might have lost the point. So. It's better, for sure. For sure. Here. Yeah? Uh, yeah, it's better. It's still feel it, but... Still, okay, hold on. Now? Mm, yeah, it's better. How much is left? How much is left? Like 20. It seems like I don't, I, you know, it's like it's the, the most famous words I say, how much is left, how much is left, it's, yeah. like, it's, it's like on the doll, <laughs> you know, it's like on the robot, you know, it's like, there's no other words. Okay. And you said around here? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, it's also around there. It's also around there, okay. Hi. See, I don't just go around there. It's a little bit better, maybe like 10%, not very much. Better, but not, not much more. Mm -hmm. not, not can better. you close that window because I can't hear? And can you repeat what you said? It's about 10 to 15% better. Okay, fine, gotcha. We'll do it just in case because we're doing the head injury and then we'll deal with the rest of the back. So you go slightly against the... Yes, channel. slightly, but this one is totally against. And ladder 40 is perpendicular? Ladder 40 is not perpendicular, because I almost never do perpendicular. Mm -hmm. So you have a number of choices in ladder 40. Oops, we almost put the You can go on the side here and go up, or you can go slightly above and go in, which is what I tend to do. Because it's really on the outside. It's on the outside, yes. Where are we at? Still so, uh, so the 75% left. Okay, that's good. Now? About the same. So now when he's lying down, now you can see that there's a clear shift unless the headdress is doing something weird to him. The, the headdress does it because it's a uh, bit higher on the left side. Yes. The headdress is higher on the left side. Oh. Okay. Let's still see if that's something that's worth dealing with, <laughs> you know, on, if it does something for the back. Hi. Yeah, better. How much? Twenty twenty five better. Twenty twenty five. It feels sharper right now. Sorry? It feels better but sharper. You know what I mean? It's less painful. No, I don't know what you mean for sure. I, feel, I don't know, it feels like there's a sharpness to it. A now. sharpness to it, but less pain? Yeah, like Okay, that's an interesting. It's point. changing quality okay. changing quality. Closer to T7 apparently. Okay, how much is left? 50, 60%. Yeah, it's actually a little yeah, it's L5, but it's quite far it's mm. quite far away from L5 actually. But it's okay. Let's see. Yes. Autonomic nervous system issue. Yeah, better, for sure. What's the number? Sorry. Um, all around 45 to 50% better. You already said that. <laughs> Maybe more like 50 then. It's hard. <laughs> okay, well. 
problem. Sorry, in the A and S shoe is T... T67, UB17. UB17. Think about it, 17. How's now? Um, yeah, like 20% left. For, okay, so this is the best up tonight? Yeah. Okay, thank you. How about now? About the same. Okay, and... So I'm trying UB4342, and since I'm doing it, I'm, I'm, maybe this is what I need to do here. How's now? About the same. Meaning 40? Yeah. 40 left? Yeah, 40 left. Okay. Let's do a combination of both and see if that does. No neck pain. Oh, yeah, there was here. So. What made you think of letter 42, 43? I'm looking at the body, and I'm, mm -hmm. look, I'm looking at... I mean, this is very typical, granted, but... Um, here, I'm just looking at stuff that doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if I'm lifting this... If I'm pulling this up away, I'm giving him... Even though he's lying down, I'm, I'm giving some release to this. Hi. Yeah, it's uh, still at that 40, 40 percent ish oh. left mark. Okay. Something here? It's tender. See, the thing is, he's still ANS. Okay, so, um... Whoops. That's so that's still, it's more just an intense thingy. Yeah, nine and a half. Okay, that's, that's a good expression. the back. But it's still about forty percent better. Oh. Than back than you know. Sorry? About forty percent back. Okay. And now? Oh yeah, it's better. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Like you have like twenty five percent left. For you twenty five is a good thing. <laughs> for others I want more, but for you I want to take twenty five. Okay. I'll do two. I want to see which one affects the heel best, better. So you said about 10% left? Yeah. I don't feel anything good. other than pressure. Hmm? I don't feel anything but the pressure. Yeah, good. Yeah, I don't want, I want you to still feel the pressure. Yeah, Otherwise it means you're numb. Which is not a good thing. Good? Yeah. Okay. And that. Mm, I think it's a little worse. <laughs> Would you need lint to those little nodules you were telling us you were feeling on his face? Except that that's where he's, that's his symptom. Oh, I see. So it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. oh, Dangerous type person. 
Anything tailbone? It's your neck. Yeah. Sorry. Forget it. So this is where a hot tree was. Because if it's one sided, you know, it would be more hot tree. Better. Yeah, it's like she wants to smile. To me, so. I was thinking back to my head. <laughs> uh, about fifteen percent much uh, left. Fifteen yeah, about fifteen percent left. I think we need to take you back to the second grade. Mm -hmm. Because before you said 10 to 15, and now you're saying it's better. Well, it, was getting, it, got, it got worse again, it's okay. and then it got better. Yeah. All right. You try to do 14 to I try that. to do 14, yeah. Because, you know, I have five level. I mean, I'm trying one for the other. Yeah. But, you know, he also said there was pain. But because he has it, so, but now there's no pain here? No. Is that correct? No. Okay. That's a, at least that's a good thing. So. And GB34, how are you looking? I mean, it is a little bit further behind. Uh, yeah. You can okay. You can go in front of the bone or in back of the bone. Actually. Better in front of the bone if you're doing it for um, the sacrum. Mm -hmm. But you can go either way. Um, okay. Um, questions. Question about a separate condition. Huh? A question yes. about a separate yeah, just. Um, oh goodness! Why do I keep not remembering this name of this SRD? Sympathetic SDR maybe. RSD. RSD. Reflex sympathetic disorder. Yes. Do yes. You, uh, so it's it's actually not no longer named that way. I believe the current name is chronic chronic. Yeah, PRS or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, yeah. Sudex is, is is the okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, just someone autonomic I... nervous system, period. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you can't touch it, you don't Both? want to mess with it, and um, and what you can do is you can put diet rings on it. Not going to happen anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> what else? But yeah, autonomic just stri nervous system. Just strict autonomic. Aut autonomic nervous system, and then depending on where it is... Right arm. Hmm? Right arm. Okay. Break your plexus down. Okay, so release this area, you have a chance. You know, because that doesn't come, that, that the RST in the arm doesn't come because of congestion, you know, brachial, whatever it's called, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a mix-up in the nerve system in the local area. It's also atypical for maybe 15, 20 years. It's just no major, um, nothing, she didn't get sick, she didn't fall, she didn't, she wasn't exposed oh, to anything. It just happened. It just Spontaneous. happened. Spontaneous. Yeah. She's okay, in her 50s. The, okay, what's the medical history? Thank you. Bye. 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 Um, overweight, but no medications, relatively healthy, somewhat active, high stress levels, high type A kind of person, but not so livery. But Just in terms of lifestyle. Oh, okay. If you check liver because of overweight, maybe something, because it's right on, maybe, oh, you can add treating the liver, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, if you could latch onto something in the medical history or family medical history and try and tap into that, maybe that will affect, by the way, elbow or... Where, whole where? arm, right field there. Whole arm. Yeah. She's also sensitive to many different things everywhere, clearly, but the, it's the right one. That's, she covers it sometimes, and it's very day-to-day, -day, very... not quite good at all. Um, what kind of expectation... Can you can you have for in terms of outcomes and improvement and things like that? I try. I can try a few times, and then then it's it, then it's up to them until the point where they're there for two years and they have to be fired. <laughs> so I mean, it, shoe points seems to be. I did. I treated her twice. Just um, shoe points, mm -hmm. and she she noted quite remarkable. Yeah. Okay. Can but you reach small intestine nineteen? I mean, can you, is Depends that on the day. The Depends on the day, apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I would look into that. Um, 
could you do long, long one too? No. It's so, so the whole, so the whole breast already. Mm, no, but I think that she's just too too scared. It it kind of wraps around the scapula in terms of sensitivity, but technically, you really, I mean, she really just feels it. Yeah. And again, it changes. So maybe I just haven't seen her in a day where that may be possible. But I don't think I don't see it happening. If you do a shoe points, add sacral yuck and see if that helps. Okay. Um, what about the do shoe? You certainly, yeah. Well, it's autonomic nervous system. And the thing is whether it's ours because it sounds like sometimes you know they'll say, oh, it's this. They give you a, a nice word for diagnosis, but it really isn't that. Well, I think she got diagnosed. It's pretty clear, actually, with her. Very, like she has the brace. She's. You wait, know, wait, 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 wait. How do you know it's RSD? Bye. She was medically diagnosed. Period. Okay. That's it. That's how I know. Yeah, exactly. Now, how do they diagnose RSD? It's very, it's mysterious. Yeah. Exactly. In other words, it's a syndrome. It's not a diagnosis. Okay. So it could be... Just for the sake of talking about it, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, no, 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 I understand. But all I'm saying is, like you said yourself, it's atypical. First of all, it's a very large area, and secondly, there was no, there was nothing that precipitated it. So there's nothing, so it's nothing, maybe... I mean, nothing that I know of, but she was, she's quite uh, knowledgeable about her history, and No, no, I said, and I'm not saying it's not RSD, but I'm just saying RSD is not a, it's not a clear diagnosis ever, because it's a little bit weird. So... Yeah, I would check liver. Uh, I, I would just keep checking. I mean, I, you have to find some key. And I'm not sure what it, But if you ask me if it's R RSD, should be a plant nervous system. So it should be under the third toe. Bye, Mike. Um, you know, thank you. Um, so, you know, but, but if you want to go past, what else could it be besides, um, you know, like RSD equals autonomic nervous system? Then I have to, we have to go into like, well, what, what other key can, can we extract there? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, so either in the medical history or through palpation. Would sugar affect? She likes to eat. She's heavier, but not, not really that heavy. Um, but she likes to eat. Very strong appetite, you know, or more like a wood earth type in TCM. Five element type. In terms of typical body, typical kind of outlook. I would check liver to see if because maybe that doesn't could be drink. fatty. Doesn't liver. drink. She likes food. No, 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 no. But fatty liver, you know, in other words, metabolism might be such that she, she gains weight. You can check stomach nine um, to see what's going on there. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm a little stuck on that, on on finding you finding a right key that would. I figured autonomic right. would be the. First, I mean, that's what I first she, I first thought about her immediately and thought yeah. that it would probably be a, a very good yeah. thing. And the other thing is probably um, you be forty two to forty three area. You know, if you can't reach more just like ten, just like with him, you know, I'm, they're related. They're two. They're related. The the inner board of the scapula and the small just and nine ten seem to have a relationship. So if you can't reach that side of the scapula, maybe this side of the scapula is reachable. What about doing it the opposite side? Um, then you're doing, you know, like Richard Tan style. I mean, I, I don't, no, no, no. Because for me, I have to affect the fascia. So right. I generally go for the same side. It's, it's rare for me that things will cross. Okay, so um, then I don't, I, don't have a, I don't have a good idea for that. Um, check the neck, you know, all that. I mean, who knows? Loads of tension. I've mm -hmm. been treating her for body work every two weeks. Which uh -huh. I've been, you know, cause she's always like this. She's all, you know, always. Uh, which has been great, and she decided after, <laughs> after a long time to trust me with some needles. Mm -hmm. And we've had two treatments. Um, and it's been very good, but it was just, you know, clearing kind of stuff. Yeah. There was no focus, focus yet. Also, the pulse, understandably, on the right hand is almost impossible to feel. But on the left? Left is it's noticeable. Very slippery, very soft, uh, sometimes rapid, sometimes not, depending on... The weather really gets to her big time. The cooler, damp weather. Okay. Try spleen three stomach two. Try. Mm -hmm. I mean, stomach cheese is not really for slippery stuffed balls, but you know, try it anyway. <laughs>
Oh, I'm sure I'll find a lot. Sorry. Okay. No, no, that's that's right. it's fine. So last thing, since you don't have questions. I have a question. Yes. Can you demonstrate Pachi Pachi with the triple bypass and algorithm flow for his condition or would that be for his condition? For yes, but I could do it on the heel. <coughs> No, needle will be the last thing. I, I want to show you something about needle, but if, uh, you, you can. It's something we don't have to see. Uh, no, no. I'm going to try to figure out what, what Sorry? angle, but I don't want to see something coming. I'll kick you a little, give you a little kick, is that okay? So what you do, and now how many rings you put, or if you put a chain, you know, it depends on the size. His size is relatively small. So I can get away with one ring, so I pull two. Yes. You will come. Bye. Take care, Chris. So the ring goes on the pain. Except for since I'm using just one, I'll use green. And the red and green clips of the patchy. Now I could use, let me demonstrate with, with two, just for the sake of it, so you can see what happens if there were two of them. It's where is it? Okay, got you. That's fine. I'll, I'll put more tape on. Okay. So Putting the diode on the on the pain part. Yeah, I mean it, the whole ring. It doesn't have to be the diode itself. And then okay. you, what I'm going to do is, so you see, it's red to the color to color. Okay. Do you see mm -hmm. color to color? Mm -hmm. the color. This is direction and direction. It's direction to direction. Now, since I have two rings, doesn't really make a huge difference. But traditionally, we put the red clip on the green one and the green clip on the red ring. And now I'll take this one out. Oh, heavy duty. Heavy duty, that's not good? No. Why not? It doesn't work as well. You, you need regular. Okay. Do you know that? So wrap or, or cover. Okay. And then you spark the aluminum foil. Do you feel anything? Uh, A little like chigger bites or something? Yeah. Okay, good enough. Can you spark on the diode or just? On everywhere, it doesn't matter here. I, I spark the aluminum foil, it doesn't matter where. And then I connect to the aluminum foil. So you kind of blow the aluminum foil? Like the black goes in the aluminum foil. Yeah. The sparking is like loading it in a way? Or? The sparking jump starts. I, I can't tell you exactly what it does. Sorry. Ionizing. <laughs> it's like ionizing the. Yeah, the but it, there, there's diodes in the. In three bypass cords, there's two diodes. And they it forces them just to move through the cord a certain way. So I'm basically pulling out. My understanding is I'm probably pulling out information out of the area. I, I unfortunately can't give you a better description. How long would you leave that on? Uh, if possible, 20 minutes, and I'll spark it every, you know, at least once more. Okay. okay. Come over. Behind me. Do it one person at a time, or a few people at a time, or whatever. I want you to put your hands between my shoulder blades. Okay, don't push me. Okay. You just want to feel. <laughs> no, otherwise I'll fall on here. Okay. It's okay to just. I'm just gonna stick some needles. Okay. 
Okay. I want you to feel my back. Okay. What are you feeling? Not much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Time. Okay. What are you feeling now? Okay. Slightly tense, like just between. But. Let me ask you differently. Do you feel that something is, something should be widening there? The shoulder blades are yes. widening? Yes. Where your hand is, where the spine is, mm -hmm. there should be a width there. That's why I gave you this yes. versus, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's what you want. You, okay, you want the needle not to come from your hand or your wrist. Mm -hmm. You want it to come from here. Someone else for her. I don't want to see you anymore. Do you feel anything? It's more, it's really in terms of your uh, reading cycles. Okay. Do you feel it? Anyone else? I don't know. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But I, but the point. Okay, what I want you to see if you can feel that there is that something's moving from there. Yeah, it actually moves okay. from there. Yeah. Okay, good. Anyone else wants to feel? As opposed to this. Are you okay? This needle keeps going. Anyone else? So in terms of the mindset, are you just being present? Are you Yeah, basically. After you found the dummy? Well, really, I was present the whole time. <laughs> but I'm concentrating right. a little differently. Right, right, right. Okay, it's hard to find gummy and go open. But so the, when you're needling, if you're needling you know, a lot of people need to the hands. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the wrist is the expression of the heart, is it? it's how the Chinese say it. So it really needs to come from your heart. The needle itself needs to come from your heart. It will be a little easier if your legs are wide. And I'm leaning into the table. Mm -hmm. you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's when I, I actually decided to. That was, so, yeah, very clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I got Are a little more concentration. I am leaning forward, yes. I am leaning forward because it's easier. Because if I lean back, it will be very hard to open. Does that make sense? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. You felt that? Yes. yes. That is what you want to do in the needle. So you're, you're growing and widening and sending that to you. Yeah? Yeah. And that's your... Um, that's, that's what I'm trying insertion? to do. It's, it's the whole thing. No, I wasn't inserting at all. I was just manipulating you. That's your manipulation. So, it's, so it's, it's trying to, to send my back to my hands and see what happens to the needle, rather than Okay, when you feel your you know, conscious, you can talk, okay, here's the difference, okay. Here's, I'm manipulating from my hand. What does the needle feel like? Me? Yeah, you. Um, it doesn't feel very much. Okay, sorry. Let me see if I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I feel like... The needle. The needle. Okay. Yeah. Versus... I feel it's warmer. Sorry? Warmer. It's warmer, but there's no needle feel, no. right? Okay. So, unless you're the kind of person who can get, you, who can sit on top of the chi and decide when they're going to get the chi, mm -hmm. better to do this. Okay. For me, getting the chi, getting the chi is meaningless, okay? Uh, and there certainly, you know, there's a Japanese that who don't try for it. But the palpation is getting the chi, you're getting their attention, that's good enough. Okay? 
So we'll spark you once more, we'll take you out and finish. Do you do this a lot in your practice? Sorry? This, yeah, I, I use drums. Yeah. Yeah. I find it extremely useful. For pain? For pain, for, yeah, primarily for pain, yeah. Although, I'll tell you, I do, I do sometimes, I put a chain in the abdomen, put the aluminum foil on, spark, and it's very good. Certain kinds of cancer patients have a distended abdomen. You know, it's great for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I sometimes I do it on the liver for hepatitis. Um, you know, you can be inventive with it. What about older, harder abdomens? Any, even though it's more physiological. But... Older, harder. You know, as as people age, sometimes their abdomens can get harder. Okay. I you, you like elderly. Try. I mean, senior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think you can certainly try. Shame over here. Yeah. Shingles. Okay. Shingles um, is basically where you have to check all the channels because it can be any channel supposedly. So check all the channels for fire points and do metal water on, on the ones that you find. Oh my god, you took the needle from there. Yes. Please want to make sure I didn't. No, 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 I, I left one on the table. Oh, yeah, yeah. What about giant fibroids? Giant fibroids. Well, you mean, would, would that be a good thing? Yeah. Yeah, the chain? Yes, you could, but fibroid uterus, uterine or uh, uterine yeah. fibroid. Okay, best point is spleen 7, spleen 7 and liver 8. Liver 8 is a streaky, uh, um, um, and you can usually feel it with your hands. You press liver 8 and you feel the, th the, the fibroid, you know, shrinking away from your hand. Okay. Same thing for breast. You can, you know, you can touch and you can press liver eight and stuff. And it's, usually with breast, I ask them to touch it. You know, but liver eight is the best point for um, for um, fibroids. Why spleen seven? Spleen seven. Uh, well, primarily because fibroids bleed. They cause bleeding usually. Spleen mm -hmm. seven is, is is to stop bleeding, but it seems to work for fibroids. But liver eight is the main one. Mm -hmm. And why liver eight? Because it's fibroid shrinking point. <laughs> fibroids are basically a liver deficiency. It's, it's liver, liver deficiency. Problem. Yeah. It's, it's not a considered problem. a blood problem. Well, I guess you can look at it. That way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't have dampness. I don't have. I don't have all this stuff in my vocabulary. I, I just, I, you know, so it's like you can't. I, yes, I understand that in TCM it's blood stagnation or dampness depending on the kind of cyst that you have. Or if you have liver deficiency and you have kidney and all this stuff, I don't understand why you don't have like other stuff. It just I don't get it. Okay, phrase it differently. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Stand up and see how you feel this. Uh, because you're assuming that this other stuff is the complete thing, and without it, there can be no medicine. Okay, no, no, no. How is it? Huh? Yeah, yeah. And it's just a model. Okay, I'm going to give you that whole model very differently in a second after we hear about his heel and his back. Yeah? Percentage? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> it's still there, but 20% 20, 20 there. 20% there. So 80% there. Okay, yeah, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me give you uh, three minutes and then we're gone. Hot, cold, damp, wind, right? Yeah. Dryness, summer heat. Okay. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The mother of all diseases is wind. Correct? You've heard that phrase. Okay. What is wind? What is wind? The complete medicine. You have to be able to answer the basics. Any movement. Okay, any movement. Okay, very nice. Okay, for every, every, any movement. Wind is change. Things change. Things move. They changed. Okay? So, wind comes and asks you to change. That's the mother of disease. 
it may change you towards healthier or, or towards sickness, okay? Wind, therefore, is the mother of disease because wind is about to change. It's an invitation to change. It may be a change you don't want to take. It may be a change you do want to take, okay? So wind is an invitation to change. Then, I can either say, I'm resisting the change. I will not go with the change. That means I'm contracting away from it. This is cold. Okay? Or I can say, hey, nah, I want more. That's heat. You're moving too fast. Okay? Or you can say, gee, I don't know. I go for it. I don't go for it. I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know. How, how do I make more of it? How do I make less of it? Should I you know, that's dampness. Maybe here, maybe there, I'm stuck. Okay? So basically, these four entities that are supposed to be external are actually internal attitudes. Okay? Remember, even though you can classify them as external issues, okay, like the Chinese, you know, the standard Chinese nowadays say, remember the superior physician is always looking for the internal cause. And always, even though you can say there's external factors, you're always looking for how, where, what's the weakness? Why is it that this person is susceptible? So the, the more superior physician supposedly is looking for the food, the emotions, things like that. Why, why is it happening? The wind is out there, always. The possibility of heat is out there, always. The possibility of cold and dampness are always out there. Okay? The problem is, how, why is it good not to just know? So, to say these six parameters, you know, are supposed to be the end all, I, I've, you know, basically I've just taken your six parameters and showed you that there's a whole other way to look at it, which is actually, as far as I understand, is the original the way of looking at it. I can't guarantee you because I didn't live 2,000 years ago. Okay, but that's what I'm told. And even if it isn't, the point is there's a whole other way to look at it. There is no one system that is complete. The only time you can have a complete system is when you're no longer living in this world. So it has to, we have to accept that there's more than one system. The system that you just showed is That's the original system, thing. the palpation system. Is that what you mean? No, 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 no. I meant looking at wind, cold, damp, heat as internal as internal rather than the external. I am told that that's originally what they meant and only then they became external factors. They were originally internal and then they became... People looked at it as internal attitudes, as emotional attitudes, psychological profiles, and then it got dismissed, and, and looking at it as, as equivalent to nature, right, the language was there, looking at nature, but it was looked upon as internal attitudes, so I'm told. Right. And then later they said, oh no, no, forget this internal attitude thing, we don't need psychotherapy. You know, and they said, no, wind, cold, damp, you know, as totally external factors, nothing to do with the person. Right. Whereas originally it had to be, the, my understanding is that originally it may have had to do with a person's choice of how they respond in their lives. I'm responding with coldness resisting, I'm responding with heat, I'm both really enthusiastic or I'm not sure which way to go. So all I'm saying is that no model is, it's, there's no one model and there's no one model that's complete. Because unless you are God, you will not have the complete model. There'll be many models. How come there can be a model of six channels, you know, um, you know, Shanghai model, model? And how come people argue whether does Xiaoyang come before Yang Min or Yang Min comes before Xiaoyang? I mean, sorry, Xiaoyang Yang Min. And Xiao Yin Jui Yin, unclear which one comes first. Okay, that's a little less of an argument because there's a smaller group of people that says just Xiao Yin should be the last one. Most people agree that Jui Yin. But there's, there's definitely a school that believes that Xiao Yin is the last one and not Jui Yin. How come? Because it's not, there's no completion, there's no absoluteness. You're trying to make an absoluteness out, out, out of it. And it's okay to have some, some rootedness in things, but kind of like, it's not the end. Now, how come we have cold-induced diseases and suddenly we have diseases from, the, from heat? Well, cold-induced cold diseases is a bunch of crap, apparently, because now we have heat-induced diseases. No, it just means that it depends on the person. They, maybe they are cold-induced, maybe they're heat-induced disease. 
Maybe they fit Wenbing School, maybe they fit Shanghai Long School, maybe they fit neither. We can't say they have to fit, you know. Sure, Wenbing formulas work for some people fabulously well. Other formulas from the Shanghai Long work fabulously for some other people. Some people don't respond to neither. It's like that's why we have as many models as we can so that we can play and rather than sort of try and force everybody to fit into this, you know, you've got to fit into this and then, you know, it's like, well, if I said to you, eight principles is the only thing, well, how would you fit the six parameters that the external factors in? How would you fix six stages or, or, or when being school into it? You have to be able to say, it's a flexible thing. And I understand that it sort of overturns your world a little bit because it's kind of like that's true. But I don't want to replace one for the other, so I you don't have to replace. Yeah, you just have to open point. up. Yeah, you just have to say when is the case where where what do I resonate with most? Okay, I really resonate with eight principles or whatever, and I'll use that mostly. But here, here are some other options to use, and I'll 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 fluff my eight principles up with this or whatever. You know, it's not one or the other. It doesn't have to be one. You know, I'm, you know, for me, this is a style that I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable with diagnosing the tongue and doing excess deficiency, hard call, that kind of stuff. If I had to, maybe I would, probably wouldn't, but that's, at least I'm doing it out of choice, rather than thinking the only thing that exists is fascia in, in the abdomen. No, lots of, I told you, lots of people, I can't pop it there, I don't understand what's going on in their abdomen, it's okay. It's about opening myself up and, and figuring out more, more tools, more options, more ideas. That's all. Yes, very interesting. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. And if you have questions, whatever, just uh, email me. Thank you. That's great. Thank Enjoy. You.